Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to talk again about how to beat the heat. So today I have a simple pen with me and this basically represents a very narrow long part that you want to print. So imagine we want to print this part and ideally we place it like this on the build plate because then we have not a lot of support to remove. What this will do is each layer will have a very short exposure time. So the laser will expose one layer and we will recode, we expose another layer. And this will mean that the higher the part gets, the harder for the energy to flow out of the part because we're just so quickly re-exposing the part that on the top it will tend to overheat. And here are some fixes how you can fix that. Well, the easiest is just reorient your part so that you have a longer exposure time. It takes longer for the same region to be re-exposed, but in this case, this would suck because you have a lot of support that you have to remove. What you can do instead is simply take the same part and copy it a bunch of times. So if we have, for example, 10 or 20 of those that we want to print in parallel, then by the nature of having many parts, it will take longer for the laser to return to the same part. So you have a longer cooldown of the part between layers and therefore you don't have energy building up in the top of the part. Sometimes you of course don't want to do that because maybe you just want one of those parts and you don't want to waste your powder on just printing 20 of them because you don't need those parts. What you can then do is add a dwell time. That means after exposing one layer, the machine simply waits for a certain amount of time and then you know starts the process for the next layer after maybe 15 or 20 seconds. And depending on the type of machine and machine vendor that you have, there are multiple ways of how to add those dwell times and this is what we're going to show you in one of the next videos. Stay tuned.